became a law. And also, when being attacked by a criminal or burglar, you can only protect yourself with the same weapon that the other person possesses. That doesn't work here in Tucson, I know that. No. Somebody bring a knife on shoot no. you or something. Like that. Oops, my bad. Well, uh, don't forget that you can't refuse to give someone a glass of water. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's me. Someone asked for water, you must give them water. Yes, that is a law here in Arizona. You cannot refuse people a glass of water, which is so kind. I hear that you can find as a business if that even happens. So, if you're walking along and you need a glass of water, you're allowed to walk in any place and there's a post service. That's just the All right, now. We have both were just some of the two soft friends. We've got some other nuisances here from surrounding towns in Arizona, like Glendale. If you live in Glendale, you can't drive your car in reverse. Don't even think about it. It was a problem, apparently. Somebody was driving reverse. Or don't go to the club and try to play cards in the street for the Native American. Can you believe that? Boy, we're still mad now we can't play cards with Native Americans. And there's a boom. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. So no cars are in the street. Yeah, so it's the same case. It's still over the street. And in Haiti, Arizona, don't bother the cocktails and whole frogs. Uh, don't, don't bother the cocktails and whole frogs. Whole frogs and cocktails. So if you're in Haiti, it's a, it's a crime. You will be fine. One is coming out here. Yes, in Maricopa County, apparently no more than six girls can live in any house. So, it's on the laws. It's on the laws. And in Mesa, Arizona, it is illegal to smoke cigarettes within 15 feet of public places unless you have a class 12 liquor license. I see what's wrong with my wife here. Uh oh, is that the fucking part? Our first show. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, All right. So uh, there we are. There we go. Uh, in Mojave County, and the Greeks says that anyone who is caught stealing soap must use it all up. Yeah, you got to keep using the soap until it's all over. Watch yourself until it's all around if you steal some soap. Yeah, you know how long soap lasts. So. Yeah. And, uh, oh, this is my favorite right here coming up to. In yes. Nogales, Arizona, you can't wear suspenders. Now, that's one that I like. Hey, I like wearing suspenders, you know. No. Yeah, wait till you see my overall thing. Yeah. Yes. No gi! Wait till you go, no gi. <laughs>
say good because I came in here and told them what we wanted to do. And she said, come on down, because we got to make this a really, really great show. We can do this more often and bring attention to this place because it is locally owned. And we do support locally owned businesses. So thank you again, guys. Please contact us 
Uh, there are no limits.co, which, which is our uh, company website. And or you can email us at talentsearch at dcap.com. Or you can find us on Facebook. That's where everybody else is, on Facebook. Did you know that there are many advantages to online video marketing? Oh yeah, Kat. They're only one click away from getting anything on your site. Can instantly see video and pictures. And 64% of them are most likely to buy just because of that video. And not only that, only 3% of businesses now have video on their websites. Your competitors are behind. Call DC Unlimited and let us be your online video marketing and content production experts. See our website at thereareNoLimits.co slash new site. So again, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Ms. Diane Wolfer. So, uh, again, thank you very much for uh, allowing us to come and enjoy this beautiful locally owned Viscount Suite. These are all so fantastic. So, uh, again, thank you. Well, we're very happy to have you here. I'm happy to stop by. Uh, as you said, we are locally owned and operated. And so this being a local event, is really, we're really happy to have you. I couldn't decide how to fit in whether I should be a kid up or a cowboy hat, so I'm thinking it might be a cowboy hat on. Yeah! <laughs> you can do anything you, you want. Yeah, I do. <laughs> They're always recruited, right, ladies? Yeah. 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 So yeah. tell us a little bit about uh, what you do here at uh, the Viking. Well, I'm the director of catering here at the Viking, so anything to do with food and beverage or events is what I do. Uh, we are, uh, we have 216 seats here. Uh, we're an awesome property and we also have over 10,000 square feet of meeting space. So, lots of stuff going on, so let me know when you want to have a holiday party or when you're going to have a meeting. Um, our location is wonderful. We have probably about 29 local groups that meet here either week or month. So, lots of opportunity. Nice, nice, nice. You, you, you want to ask her anything? But, uh, 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 I have to borrow the wire. Yeah. <laughs> I'll share my own. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Diane, for uh, hosting the Dirty South Show here. We're really, really happy to be here. And this is one of the more favorite places. Thank you. Well, I guess it, regarding a few events coming Yeah, I'll tell us a little more about this. They have other events, and we want you guys to come down here on another night. So. We do have uh, a summer jazz series. Actually, it's been going on for a while. We have jazz. Which we're pretty excited about because uh, uh, Francis Ford Coco Wine Company will be here um, with Young Smart and doing wine tasting. There will be prizes and giveaways, so a little something new out there in the There will be a promotion afterwards here at Gilbert's. Um, and for all the people that like Fireball, there will be a Fireball in the next year for the Gilbert artists. So come on down. Yes, and she almost missed this because uh, her son was graduating. So again, thank you for and coming here. And congratulations. Thanks, I was gone totally. <laughs> <laughs> well, we truly want to have you guys on every show to let everybody know, you know, what's going on for the month that's coming up. Uh, a lot of times we don't get to hear these things, so well, that's we're really what we're happy all about. To have you guys here too. So Yes, ma'am. Fourth Thursday of every month, and you'll see all these shows on Monday nights at 11. So, so yeah, we'll but also 24 hours a day on AZ Live TV and you know Dirty South. They'll be uh, archiving our shows there as well. So we really want to promote this place. And like I said, they're watching us in Atlanta and Florida. Thank you guys and around the world. We love you guys. So, uh, 
So right now we're going to play a video that we thought was pretty cute. It's a, it's a young lady uh, singing Elvis's song. Uh, she's about six months old, maybe. Maybe a, maybe a little older. Maybe a little older. But, <laughs> but um, it's the cutest thing we've ever seen. Yeah, it's about five minutes long, but you're going to love the whole thing. And this is Little Ella May. So here is now our video clip of the week.
Uh, hello, my name is Harley Hall. Um, I play Deep Six for the Southwest Slammers. My name is Haley. I'm a spotter on the Southwest Slammers uh, 2020 baseball team. And I'm Travis. I'm a pitcher, catcher, spotter, batting coach for the Southwest Slammers. My name is Lucas Gayhart. I am a, a spotter, catcher, uh, sometimes other sided help on the uh, Southwest Slammers team. Hey, my name is Carly Bradford, and I've been on the team for about two and a half years. We're bringing up our next guest coming up, and this is the uh, nationally ranked Southwest uh, Slammers Live yeah. Beat Baseball. Come on up, y'all.
southwestlanders.com slash southwestlanders. Southwestlanders. And how else can they help? We have uh, actually one of our big fundraisers coming up on June 7th. And we have, uh, it's our third annual fundraiser. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him go. Yes. Hi, everybody. Hey, give it up for Olivia. I am the mission coordinator for the Southwest Lammers, and we do, we have a very big fundraiser. We have a third annual um, Southwest Lammers Dance in the Dark. It's gonna be June. At the address is 330 West Franklin Street on um, Congress and Granada downtown from 5:30 to 11. We're gonna have catered food. We're gonna have dancing. We're gonna have fun. You can come live band, and um, it's $30 a couple and $20 a single. If you wanna go stag, go ahead. Um, <laughs> Anything that you guys can donate or any volunteers or anything like that, it would be much appreciated. But yes. Yeah, I'm gonna say the dancing in the dark. That's that's a huge thing. But uh, I've made them uh, probably it's been a year, year and a half. We discovered them. They were on our show at Access, and I got embarrassed playing this game. You know, hey, us sighted people have fear. These people have no fear. So. To watch them run around and feel and fall on the ground and run over people is just so exciting. You know, if you have a disability, don't let it hold you down. And that's one thing that they encourage me, you know, to do every day is to just keep going because I close my eyes for a few seconds and I get scared. So I appreciate everything you guys do. It's all hard, dude. It's hey, all hard. there you go, man. So we don't play, we don't have a contract. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. It's all hard, man. Not yet, but audio wise, you know, our sponsor here, they really they love you guys and uh, they want to talk to you about, you know, supporting you guys and getting you more. Because when they go down there for the World Series, they got to represent us and be good, right? And, and so if, if any of you have a friend or relative, anybody visually impaired, blind, all you have to do, you got, you got to be legally blind. Uh, uh, you don't have to be completely blind, legally blind to be able to participate in our sport. If you have a family member, a relative, I mean, a, a friend, uh, please give me a call, email, uh, you can call me Pete Trejo, I'm a coach, player uh, for this year. 520-955-4421 is my cell phone. And then sw-slammer9 at gmail.com is my email. And uh, we'd love to... Uh, to bring in your family, your friend, those that want to volunteer, just come on out and check us out and, and come and be amazed and inspired by how we play the game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we will have all that information on the screen. Uh, we're a bigger supporter of them, so everything that we're working for, a portion goes toward these guys as well, so we can get them to the World Series every year. See, we even got a future player right there. Once again, you can uh, like their Facebook page and uh, go to dukeandcan.com, uh, AC Live TV. We're going to build a TV page for them there. And you can see, we're going to try to start streaming their games when you play so you can see what the game is all about. It's all about sound and, and listening and using your other senses. So we truly appreciate you guys coming on. Yeah. Yes, we, we love you. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's put your hands together again for the Southwest. I just found out that video results have appeared in over 70% of the top 100 listings on Google. Well, that means the chances of getting a page one listing on Google increases 53 times with video. Well, you know, the experts say that posts with videos will attract three times more clicks than posts without videos. So, contact DC Unlimited today. We are your online video marketing and content production experts. That's right. Call us 
or check us out at the website, thereareNoLimits.co slash new site. From the Duke and Cat Show. You're watching us on DirtySouthTV.com and AZLiveTV.com. Where we're all Arizona, all original, all the time. technical difficulties with that Mark Chestnut interview. We'll get back to that at a later time. But ladies and gentlemen, the Duke and Cash Show now proudly presents Pookie and Ray Ray and Dispensary Madness. Hey, hey, hey. Well, we're well, we going to definitely be rich, boy. I just, I just can't wait. Oh, man. What kind of scheme are you up to now? Oh, don't worry about no scheme. Don't worry about it. I'm tired of you wasting all oh, our money. I know, I know. Hold on. Hey, 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 Mom, how you doing? No, 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 I haven't gotten a job, but thanks for uh, your disability check. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, we didn't use it for all that rent stuff you wanted. We got the good stuff now. It's going to be, we're going to be rich. Oh, we're going to be easy streak. <clears throat> Next. Come on, let's go. Hey. Hi, how you doing? All right, how you Welcome doing? Welcome to Dewey Cheatham and Hal Law Offices. Oh. I'm Dewey Cheatham. Oh. Hal, uh -huh. can I help you? Oh, yeah, Mr. Dewey Cheatham. Hi, how you doing today? Man, we're here to become dealers for medical marijuana. What do we have to do to get on the money train? Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. All right, well... Uh, let's see. You do realize, though, that uh, your uh, dispensary has to be non-profit. Non-profit? No, baby. We're here to get the greenbacks, the dollars, <laughs> the pesos, the grande, el dinero. Right, baby? That's you right. Mean, you mean you're That's trying right. to make money off sick and injured people? As a personal injury lawyer, I find that disgusting. Well. Because that's my job. Oh. <laughs> so what organization do you plan on donating your profits to? Um, well, you better be donating them to the Personal Negro College Fund. A wasted mind is a terrible thing. Well, how would you on that one, baby? <laughs> yeah, well, here's a list of the senators, uh, your state senators, and may I suggest that you make a donation to each of them uh, to about the tune of about $5,000. $5,000? Yeah, well, it may head off any unforeseen legal issues that uh, may come up. Legal issues? What legal issues? Hey, didn't we mowed on that miracle marijuana? Is it legal now? <laughs> legal? Legal? No. Uh, although Arizona did uh, selectively decriminalize, uh, uh, sort of, it's still illegal in all states. And, uh, so your dispensary can still technically be raided by, oh, say, the FBI, the ATF, ICE, the DEA, the DHS, uh, the CDC, maybe even by RSVP. Damn, baby, <laughs> sound like we SOL. <laughs> well, maybe your plans aren't DOA just yet. Yeah. Let's check a few things first. First off, you're both over uh, 21. Uh, yeah. Okay. Never been convicted of a felony? Well, arrested is not convicted, right? Right. Okay, so no unpaid taxes, taxes, liens, anything to the government, child support, anything like that? No. Uh, okay, sounds like you're supporting, supporting a big child right here, but we'll get back to that a little later yeah. on. So yeah. first off, yeah. uh, you got that application fee of $5,000? $5,000? Yeah, I think we do. $5,000? Uh, yeah, thank you. I thought we already gave you that $5,000. Oh, that $5,000. $5,000. No, no, that $5,000 is for me to consult with you about the 20 legal contracts that the state of Arizona is going to require you to have. Uh, for instance, uh, you got to have uh, things like site security. You got security? 
<laughs> we got security? No. Well, this here, this about, is my how brother. About, how about your homie? Yeah. This well, is my brother. He does security. Uh, he'll set you up to meet all the state requirements for about, oh, $5,000. $5,000? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you have a lease, right? You do have a lease for uh, your dispensary? A lease? No. Yeah. Well, here, this is my sister. She's a real estate agent. She'll set you up with all your legal requirements for about $5,000. $5,000? Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, don't worry. You have a state licensed contractor to deliver your uh, medical marijuana, right? No. No, oh, well, okay, here's my son. He's a trucker. <laughs> He's licensed by the state. He can help you out. He'll deliver it for, oh, I don't know, $5,000. Ah. $5,000, Ray Ray. <laughs> no, fuck, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, I well, know. We, we, it's a little steep, but, you know, we haven't even got to the site requirements yet. What? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, maybe running a dispensary is not really for you. So, let me see. Are Probably you not. are you wanting to, uh, you know, like dispense marijuana for yourself or oh. are you trying to help other people? <laughs> We're trying to help a whole lot of people. <laughs> we want to help lots of people. Yeah. Well, maybe you should be... You How much could, is it going to cost? Well, you should consider becoming a caregiver. Well... That should be free. <laughs> do we qualify? Well, I don't know. Uh, well, caregiver can grow up to 12 plants per patient, uh, but... <clears throat> As a caregiver, uh, you can supply five individuals also. But by pants? maximum, <laughs> that's the law. <laughs> no, you can supply them with medical marijuana. Oh, them kind of patients. <laughs> but uh, you want to look into the profit margin on that? There is none. Man, what is this? You, yeah, let me, let me read you a little something. Right, right. Uh, you know, the, right, right. the state this of Arizona. We're going to make lots of money doing oh, this. Is too prompt, too did, we, did we vote for it? Oh. You voted for it. Well, uh, as, as according to the state law, a caregiver a cannot actually be paid for any services they render at all. What? Anything. Oh, Even man. in trade. No. <laughs> Good Lord. So, well, first off, you know, that might not be something you might be interested in. What about, what about just becoming a patient? Would you like to get a do, medical do. marijuana card? Do. How much is that going to yeah, cost? Yeah, how much? About $5,000? No, actually, it's only 150 Oh, well. You got that, honey? We got that. I'm sorry. I'm we got so that. I'm sorry. So sorry. I'm well, before sorry. we get you the card, though, <clears throat> let's see if you qualify. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'll give me cancer? that money back. You got cancer? I don't think so, dude. Uh, no. HIV? No. Hepatitis no. C? I don't think so. Glaucoma? No. <laughs> Say, is, this uh, the li is this the list? Yeah. <laughs> Glaucoma. My cousin got hit in the head with a brick. And he was in a glaucoma for a month. I never would have figured weed would have woke his behind up that quick. Cachexia? A chew. Uh, excuse you. Bless no, you. no, cachexia. <laughs> Wasting syndrome. Y'all got that? <laughs> oh, no. No, we get wasted, but we yeah. don't have no syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got any condition at all that causes, like, severe and chronic pain? <laughs> my whole, this whole process is a pain in my neck. Does that count? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Here's my brother. He's a doctor. Why don't you run over and see him, and uh, for the right price, he might find something wrong with you. Man, I ain't got no more money. <laughs> well, then there's nothing else I can do for you. Wow. Well. So, would you like me to validate your parking slip at least? We don't even have a car anymore. Dude, where's my car? Uh oh, I had pawned it so we could raise money for this. I thought we'd be rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Oh, well, come on, let's go down the You floor. are about to be in some severe and chronic pain. Well, why don't it's we not going to be a problem to get your card. Well, why don't we just go down to 4th Avenue and, you know, Cousin Dookie can dispense some medicine. And we won't need a card for that. You know your cousin. Next. Thank you so much. Put your hands together for Rocky Tenino, ladies and gentlemen. All right, this concludes our show. We definitely want to thank everyone for coming. We will be back on June 26th. If you want to be a guest on our show, get in contact with us. You want to perform, you want to do comedy, whatever it is you'd like to showcase, we love to do it here.
in, uh, on our show, and as well, we are all about, all about promoting small businesses. So give us a, a ring and we will get you out to the public and let them know what great things that are going on in Tucson. And remember, do the cat show we're on Monday nights at 11 o'clock on Cox Channel 20 and Comcast Channel 74. Always 24 hours on azlivetv.com. Dirty South TV. Thank you guys in Atlanta and Florida. We love you, Gene, Liz, and uh, Brett. And uh, they also have a great channel, dirtysouthtv.com. Watch that. They're all about music, videos, blues, jazz, you name it. So we want to get our musicians out there on their channel as well. They're building. Again, thank the Southwest Flatworks. Baseball team. We want to thank Diane Walters and the Stanford Body Camp Sweet Hotel. Oh, we definitely want to thank our crew tonight. That's right. That's right. Mr. Edgar. Oh, John Williams, our photographer. Yes, John Williams, our photographer. Very yeah. extraordinary. And uh, streaming technical assistant. Yes, streaming technical. Yes, they yes, all learned today. Yes, Mr. Edgar. Yes, Mr. Edgar, who has a show at Access. The Duke and Cat Show on AZLiveTV.com. All right. Hey, baby. Hey, dude. You still are looking fine. Well, thank you, baby. If you don't know my name, I'm somebody. Would you get that? And we love to party if you don't know my name.